Let's talk about the advantages of US LLCs for foreign owners, including no US income taxes if you structure it right. You know, many of my high net worth friends and clients live in tax advantage jurisdictions and from time to time they need companies in tax-free jurisdictions. These companies are used to own investments or vacation homes, planes, boats, stuff like this. Sometimes businesses, but a lot of times are used as asset holding vehicles. Now traditionally, these companies have been established in financial centers like the BVI, the Cayman Islands, and the Channel Islands. Unfortunately, due to international pressure, many of these jurisdictions have lost their luster. They have ungodly burden KYC requirements, economic substance regulations, you need local directors, local administrators, and in all honesty, a lot of them don't offer that much privacy anymore. The solution in my mind is a US LLC. US LLCs with foreign owners offer the benefits traditional financial centers used to at a much lower cost and much lower administrative burdens. I'll explain why in this video. First, let's talk about the taxation of LLCs and what an LLC is. An LLC is a limited liability company. It's not a corporation. It's a completely different animal. It's an LLC, a limited liability company. Now, LLCs are what are known as eligible entities. That means they're eligible to be taxed in different ways. So you have a little bit of flexibility in how US LLCs are taxed. By default, an LLC with a, a US LLC with a single owner is treated as a disregarded entity, meaning it's disregarded for tax purposes. It's not a taxable entity. All of its income and profits flow through to the owner who reports those on their tax return. No separate tax return, as I said. You have the default for multiple owners, which is a partnership. Also, not a taxable entity. The profits flow through to the partners who pay tax on those profits, but it must file a US income tax return to report the partnership's income and losses and how it was distributed to the partners, but there's no entity level partnership LLC level tax. They can also elect to be treated as corporations with a single or multiple owners, but then it becomes liable for US income tax, becomes a taxable entity. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. In this video, we're just focusing on US LLCs that are treated as disregarded entities for US tax purposes. We're talking about US LLCs with a single foreign owner. So a disregarded entity, as I said, an entity that is disregarded and separate from its owner, US LLC with one owner's default classification is that of a disregarded entity. Disregarded entities don't file separate tax returns. Like I said, the income and loss is reported on the owner's tax return. So let's take the situation where we have a US LLC with a foreign owner that's treated as a disregarded entity. All of that LLC's income would be reported by that foreign owner on that foreign owner's tax return. Now, foreign owners or non-resident aliens and foreign businesses in general are not liable for US income tax unless the income is from a US trader business or it's FDAP income. It's like interest, dividends, royalties, things of that nature. Services income is sourced where the services is performed. So let's take, for example, Digital Nomad, who is providing a service from Spain. Because the service is being provided from Spain, even if the money is paid from the United States, it's not US source income because the service was performed outside of the United States. Income from the sale of personal property is generally sourced where the seller is resident. So let's say, for example, you're doing an Amazon business from the UK and you're selling everything from there. Well, since you're the seller, that's UK sourced income. It's not US sourced income. The US would not tax either of those because they're not US sourced income, even if the money's coming from the US. So let's say you're a non-resident alien and you own a US LLC. As long as the services that you're providing are performed outside of the US, the income is not US sourced and not subject to US tax. That means you could be living in the UAE, for example, 
You could have a LLC in the United States. You could do business under the name of this LLC, provide all the services from the UAE through this US entity. You could even have your banking in the United States. You can even have clients in the US. None of it is gonna be subject to US tax because the service was performed here in the UAE. Likewise, let's say for example, that you're an Amazon seller. And we'll use the same example that I used earlier. You're selling from the UK. So you have, you're a non-resident alien, you're living in the UK, you're doing business from the UK, but you own a US LLC that has an Amazon store and it's selling on Amazon to clients worldwide, including in the United States. This is not US source income because the seller is not located in the United States, meaning the US is not gonna tax it. If you're a non-resident alien individual and you own a US LLC and conduct business through it as long as you're not engaged in the US trader business and you're not receiving interest, rents, dividends from the US, then you don't have any US source income and it's not gonna be subject to US tax. So the result is a US LLC with a single owner treated as a disregarded entity pays no US income tax unless it has US source income. No US income, no US income tax the same as you would get with an international business company located in any of the offshore jurisdictions that most people are familiar with. So here are the advantages of a US LLC with foreign owners. No US tax absent US source income. They're easy to set up. The setup cost is low. It's easy to maintain. It's relatively inexpensive to maintain. Getting bank accounts in the US is pretty easy. It's not like ungodly complex account opening process that now exists in most of the world. You get a lot of privacy, so US LLCs formed in the right states and structured properly don't disclose the owners or the, or the managers. The only thing people would be able to find online is that the LLC exists. Also, the US is a very well-known jurisdiction, right? So you get a lot of legitimacy by doing business through a US LLC. The US is also a very reputable jurisdiction. It's easier to access the US market, like doing business with Amazon, for example. Easy KYC, US lawyers, and corporate formation agents don't have the same burdensome KYC requirements that the rest of the world has. You don't have any economic substance regulations. There's no automatic exchange of information. The US isn't a signatory to CRS and because it's not in the EU, there's no DAC6. The US does now have a beneficial owner registry, but it's private and very difficult to access. There's no VAT in the US. The US has a reliable legal system. LLCs in the US are not offshore companies, right? If you set up a company in the BVI, it's a certain type of company that you're setting up, right? It's not the same type of company that you would normally use to do business locally. The BVI, is, it's an offshore company, whereas the LLC that you're setting up to do your business through is the same exact type of an LLC, a local domestic American would set up to run their restaurant, for example. So if you're interested in finding out more about how US LLC can benefit you, contact us to set up a consultation. We've been helping people set up US entities for over 20 years. We know the ins and outs, especially when it comes to non-resident aliens. You can reach us at info at esquiregroup.com or www.esquiregroup.com.